This is a Quantum Edge 3 eye level power chair. So this power chair has got the eye level uh, seating system. The seat goes up 12 inches. A um, couple things about this chair. It's practically brand new. So it was used a month or two at the most. Beautiful chair. The only thing this chair has is the 12 inch seat lift. One thing you need to remember with this chair, very important if you're watching me because we're not changing anything else on the chair. The seat on this chair, because it sits on the frame and it's a tall seat, right here is at 24 inches. So when you're starting, you can't go any lower than 24 inches. So just measure your tables at home, everything else. If you don't go under a table, then you're fine. It's 24 inches. It might still go under a table, but it's usually they're 22. This one's two inches higher instead of being here. It's here, it's 24 inches, which that means when you go up 12 inches, by the time you're all the way up, which I'll do right now, so if I take the seat up right now, you're gonna start at 24, but also you'll be at 36 when you're all the way up because you're gonna be two inches higher than most people. So this is your electric seat lift going up from, 22, uh, from 24 to 36 inches. So the top of the seat right now, all the way up, you will be at 36 inches, which is extremely high. And so if you're looking from height this is, uh, this is pretty much as high as you're ever going to get right now. I'm not saying 10 years from now they won't come up anything new, but right now. So Now this chair with the seat elevated will still drive at a really good speed. I can't show you how fast it drives, but I can show you that it does, it does boogie around. Okay. Now, so that's the seat elevated. Let me bring it back here. Let's look at the base. We have 14 inch solid tires. These are non-marking tires. We have, of course, your caster wheels in the front, caster wheels in the back. Like all Quantum Edge 3s, you've got the super anchor points. You've got one here, one here. You have two on this side, two on the opposite side. This is where you would secure your chair to your lift if you were gonna transport this chair to your lift or to your van. These are on the frame. They're not going anywhere, these anchor points. So you have four all together. This is your seat lift right here. You can see your actuators here. This is the frame of the seat lift, which is a four point frame. So you can see on both sides, it's got a lot of stability, okay? You have a motor for each wheel. Each wheel has an independent motor. This is what makes the chairs go in a complete circle. So right now, this chair probably weighs 350 pounds, 300 to 350 pounds. If I was to push it, you can see it's in gear. So if you had the seat down, and you turn the power off because the reason you want the power off you want no resistance in the motor when you put it in neutral so the power is off you have a yellow handle here very simple push it down what that does it puts you in neutral you can see the wheel is freely rolling now okay you have to do both motors back in gear then turn your power back on the next thing I want to show you about this power chair is this is the suspension you can see the suspension in front. There's one here. There's two in the front right there. Heavy duty suspension. And you have the same suspension in the back right here. Heavy duty suspension for these back fork right here. You can see when I raise it up. It's a heavy chair. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring the seat back down. So I'm going to put it back on the seat lift part. I'm going to push the joystick forward. That pushes it down. Now, you have a swing away joystick here, so if you're right-handed, everything's good. If you're left-handed, we can switch this joystick and everything to the left side with no problem at all. This is called a swing away joystick. Okay. Now, this chair has a captain seat. So what a captain seat is, you do have a handle right here, and you can flip the back down or you can flip it down this way for transportation. Now this chair is pretty high, so if you're gonna transport this chair, your top number here, it would be the top of the joystick, is gonna be about 34 inches. Yeah, that's two inches higher than normal. Um, so we're still at 34, 34 and a half inches. So you could, you could drop the joystick. The seat is at, 31 inches. So the top of the seat is at 31, but you're, you're three inches higher here. So you could technically drop the joystick down by turning this knob here. I'm going to show you right there what that does. 
So what that does, you notice I have dropped the joystick now. For, if you're going to get it in your car. Now we're at 31 and a half. So you could drop both arms down. This is how, this is the adjustment right here for the tip on the arm, okay? To tip the arms up. It's actually very loose. There's a, there's a bolt to tighten it right here. So now I'm going to put it back to where it should be. Close enough. All right, so it's just an idea to show you what you're looking at. I'm going to put the seat back up. The seat on this chair is the high quality seat that, that comes with these high end chairs. It's a captain's seat, but it's a breathable seat. It's got a bunch of little holes in it. You can't see them, but it's for if you sit on here, it kind of has, it helps the, the vinyl breed. This is a 20 by 20 seat, high back with headrest, 20 by 20. Joysticks on the right. We can put the joystick on the left. The arms go up and down. The arms can go out and the arms can go up also depending, there's a, there's, a, there's a set screw here on the side of the arm right there. If you loosen up that set screw, you can pull the whole arm up this way also, okay? So the foot plates do flip up. Now there's a lever back here on the foot plate. These are manual foot plate. There's a lever right here. If I pull that lever. If I push it down, this is as far as the legs will go. Now we can adjust the length of these legs also still manually. There's bolts. We can adjust the length to, your, to fit your, your size. But that's how the legs go up. Push it, push it up or down. Which way? Oh, this way. So you can put them anywhere you want. You know, just hold a handle. So this would be all the way under the chair. This would be a little too much. but. This would be more normal right here. So these are manual adjustments. The back is also a manual recline. So the only thing electric on this chair is the electric seat lip and the motors on the chair. When you charge this chair, you will take your charger and you'll plug it below your joystick right here. And as soon as the light goes to, from orange to green, you're fully charged. So let's recap. This chair is a Quantum Edge 3. Uh, it was only used for a month or two, practically brand new. The seat is 20 by 20. Um, one more thing, it does have the light kit. I forgot to mention, almost forgot. There's a little button right here under my, under the, right here, I'm gonna tap it, you'll see. There are your lights. So you have your front lights right here, and you have, you have your back lights. So this chair is equipped with headlights also. The button is right here, tap it and it's off, okay? So you do have the light kit from the factory on this chair. You have the swing away joystick, the flip up arm, 20 by 20 seat, safety belt, adjustable back like I mentioned earlier, adjustable foot plate, these are manual. Great suspension, uh, as I say, it takes two batteries and you charge it from the front like I just showed you. And you should be able to get about 14 miles on the battery charge. That all depends on the weight of the user. If you're in the grass, if you're going uphill, you're not going to get as much. You can get more if you're on a flat surface all the time and you have a light user, user it would be a more distance. But if you're looking for a really sharp power chair and you want to be elevated all the way up to 36 inches, this is the one. So this is the Quantum Edge 3 with a great suspension. Very comfortable, very easy to drive. Top speed is six miles an hour. You can actually, you can actually feel the suspension in this chair. When you're driving, you feel this little, you, feel, you can feel the suspension on this chair. I'm gonna take it to the grass. So this is the one where the seat is at 24 inches and I'm going to raise the seat up now all the way up to 36 inches 
and I'll show you what it looks like outside at 36 inches. It does take about 10 seconds to get there. Um, 36 inches, we should be there in a second here. Then this chair will still drive at three, at three, at three miles an hour when the seat is elevated all the way to the top. All right, so now if I switch it back to drive and go to the fourth speed, There we go. There we go. So the chair still dries with the seat elevated. I would say about three miles an hour. That's pretty fast right there. So if you're looking for a chair you want to be at 36 inches where you can reach into your sink or in the top of your refrigerator or you want to be at the movie theater you want to see above everybody else uh, this would be a really really nice one uh, just remember it starts at 24 and right now we're at 36 inches and this year is practically new it's only used a couple months ready to go hi I'm Mark and my name is Alex we are a family-owned business for over 25 years we have many products available, not just what you see in this video. If you would like to learn more, you can call the number below at 800-677-6293 or you can visit us directly at www.marksmobility.com.